Once, there was the void. Absolute. Perfect. Boring. It ended with a blessing. From a wave of the Creator's hand, compassion and wisdom spilt into nothingness. But such marvelous gifts often come with hidden prices. From the wondrous fountain of light was born the nameless fire that drives the deep well of midnight, a counter to all life. As creation rolled on, so too did the shadow. Unchallenged and untouched, darkness spread, burning and killing, raping land, sky and flesh. Falling upon countless worlds, it consumed and corrupted all life. Eventually, the shadow fell upon a mundane world of feigned love and exaggerated loss. Curiously, this blundering blue planet hosted men not easily purged. Greetings folks, Tram here. Let's play some Hellgate London. For those of you who are not familiar with Hellgate London, it is a uh, RPG first person shooter, third person hack and slash um, that came out in about 2007 and uh, it did have a multiplayer. Unfortunately, those servers have been long since closed down, so only the, uh, the single player campaign is really available. I think not too long ago it came back out on Steam. I think it's like 12 bucks right now or something like that, 12 or 13. Um, mixed reviews on it. Apparently the port's not very good. Um, personally, I like I, what I'm playing off of is the CD copy that I got way back in like 2009, I want to say. So yeah, I mean this game is <laughs> pushing 12 years old and it kind of shows. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to do a couple things here. This first part that I'm going to play around in, I'm not going to finish the game. It's too big for that and I don't have enough time to be quite frank. Um, but I'm just going to play with a, uh, a Blade Master. Actually, no, I think I'm going to do the uh, the Guardian. Um, the classic Paladin style. Um, I'll play with the Guardian for a little bit, give you an idea what the third person hack and slash elements are like, and then I will be going back to my other character, which is an Invoker, which definitely fits my playstyle more. Um, so... We're just going to throw this guy, uh, oh, I don't know what to call him. Let's see. We'll just call him James. Why not? Because we're not going to last real long. Um, you can choose hairstyle and that sort of thing. Um, male and female characters. And you can choose skin colors. And for the women, they don't have beards, but they're allowed to have uh, accessories. So different piercing styles, that sort of thing. Um, but yeah, let's see. Don't really want to spend too long here, because this character is only going to last for so long. But yeah, you got quite a variety of options to customize your character. Unfortunately, nothing too insane looking, so really pale or all the way to really dark. That's pretty much your options there. Let's see. Go with that. And we go to Russell Square, which is our tutorial level. And we start out with a sword and shield and a message coming. And here's the thing. This game has voice clips, but no voice acting. It all is a very very MMO style system of communication. Uh, so this is Murmur. He sticks around with you for a little while, gets you basically to the first beginning steps and stages. Um, hello, can you hear me? James? Oh, if I hear that. Uh, please respond. I need help. Oh, thank goodness you're there. Maybe there's still a chance. I was forging when the demons came. A Templar Seraph and his men took the brunt of it. Things went wrong. I am stranded. But maybe we can help each other. Hellborn isn't far. We might actually make it together. I'm here somewhere, close for sure, but you'll still need to find me. And soon. I can help you, whatever you need. I've studied the demon, wor the demon, the world, anything, anything, everything. Get me out of this, you'll see. I promise you'll see. Uh, just find me. I've got the comlinks, our comlinks unit synced. 
We'll be in touch. Whatever happens. Uh, by the way, I'm Murmur. Well, we got that from the community. All right, so basic third-person controls here. Um, we do have a shield attack that kind of stuns enemies. We can swing our sword, and that's about it for the moment. These basic level zombies really don't uh, don't worry too much about us. We'll start attacking us later. And there's Murmur on this suspiciously very narrow street. Good man. Uh, thank you. Truly, thank you, James. I wasn't always alone and helpless out here, you know. Uh, the Templar with me were butchered. These weren't ordinary Templar, either. These were Seraphim, first among the Order's champions. So believe me, we do not want to meet whatever did them in. But, and this is a big one, their mission was critically important. There's no running from it. I'm afraid we can't flee to safety just yet. The Order committed an entire first Seraphim to one objective. They were to retrieve a man named Fox. That didn't pan out well, but the fallen Seraphim still carry vital information regarding this Fox character. We have to secure that info. For so many to have died for nothing. It's unthinkable. We must at least try. Uh, you lead. I I'll follow. Don't worry, James. I'm, I'm quite used to it. We all work for a purpose. Okay. And as you can see, like I said, there are voice clips, but none of them really have to do with what's in the the chat log thing there if you will all right so yeah the key foundations game are seen pretty quickly you hack and slash at things and you gain new armor and equipment to hack and slash at more things and that's pretty much the game <laughs> Um, the locales and everything are nice. I mean, they feel a little cramped for what they are, but... Oh well. Um, so weird, like this game is set up to be like an MMO, uh, MMMO, but uh, it feels too tight. Like the idea was you'd have multiplayer, and I granted this is a tutorial level, but there's a lot of narrow places like this where it just doesn't feel very multiplayer friendly. Um, some of the maps get a little larger. Yes. All right, so the Knight Althar. Ambushed. Everyone's dead. The mission. It cannot fail. It must not fail. You. You must finish it. The Dr. Fox. Dr. Fox. Listen, listen, his device. You must bring word to Lan. Give Fox communique to his... Uh, give Fox communique. He must find the device. Go to the Covenant Garden Station. Go and deliver Fox communique to the to land to the land. Yeesh. He'll understand. He'll find the doctor. Use the device. There's still hope. There's always hope. Always. Goodbye. Well, I'll take that as you die. Even though you're still alive. Oh well, he was probably too far gone for us to save. And also, it's an early 2000 like or 2010 2007 game. We can't pick up people. What would we do? <laughs> How would we do that? Alright. What's that? I mean, we couldn't possibly drag, you know, a full size grown man a few more feet to the station. Not at all. But here's Hellborn Station. It's, uh, in the subway. Nice and cozy. Ah, hero! Come and talk of adventure. <laughs> oh no, and I thought this place would be safe. Looks like these folks just survived an attack. Half the equipment here is on the fritz. Damn, that includes the passage security door to the Covenant Garden Station, unfortunately. Alright, I think we can still deal with this, James. We're just gonna have to get our hands dirty. Step into that Texmas life, he looks like he could use the help. Do the repair work for him if you have to. Just please assist these poor uh, people in getting that door open so we can reach land in the Covenant Garden stations and complete the Seraph's mission. Right now, it's the only thing that truly matters, James. First steps are always the hardest. Come back when you need to know more. And it's such a critical thing that Murmur will stand right there and safely hold up that wall. For us. For 
the entire length of time. All right, so here's the tech smith. If I continue to drink lots of milk, will I keep growing into an awesomely powerful Greek god like yourself? Uh, filthy demons, they hit us hard. It was all we could do to drive the bastards out. Now most of our gear is wrecked. Even this bleeding door is jammed. Help the Covenant Garden. Help from the Covenant Gardens can't reach us, even if we could call them. It's what a nightmare. Oh, did you need to get through, Templar? Well, I'm afraid the only way this repair is getting sped up is if some capacitors fall into my lap. I could use the stored energy to power a few extra devices around here and get things moving, or opening, as the case may be. I know there's some in the Hoborn Axis shafts, but I'm not going to get go get them. That's where the flippin' demons fill back to, friend. And frankly, I'm still enjoying life. But if you really, and I mean really, want this door open, you'll have to explore the Hellborn Axis shafts and find eight capacitors. Oh, that was the greatest conversation of my entire life. Sure. Alright. Here's Joey. You know, Lee is awesome. Oh, hello. You're James, aren't you? I really want to be like you someday, but Pa's always tell me I'm too little, and now that I've lost my tricked out prosthetic leg, he'll never let me join. You're a real hero, so maybe you could help. I was up in the Tottingham court looking for salvage I could sell to Orf here when I fell into a nest of fat, smelly demons. I barely escaped, but they got my good leg, and now I'm stuck here with this stupid wooden one. I feel like a dang pirate when all I want to do is be a mildly Templar. I may not be old enough to run with you yet, but I still bet I could be your sole squire. Find my good leg, and you'll be, and I'll be your stalwart companion, calling out your praises wherever you go. Promise. I won't forget, it, boss. And George. And I'm sorry, I'm the place. Yes, I would have to horse kick me in the bad place. I never would talk about this ever again. All right, he's the mumbler, um, and really doesn't like various monsters. Sorry, I was just remembering something my granddad used to tell us. And did you know my granddad was a priest in the Trinidad mate? Yeah, and he says, well, that is, he used to say, son, when there's no more room in hell, the dead will walk the earth. And seems like he might have been right in retrospect. Specifically, Tottingham Court Road is crawling with the dead. Full or not, maybe you could help by sending ten zombies back to hell the way they walked out of it. That's okay. We always brought up to the Alright, so we're going to go into Tottingham Court, get a couple of side missions done out of the way, and then we'll progress with the main mission. As with any RPG, the idea is to level up as much as possible, so taking on more monsters, the better. Um. Level 2 has been reached. Alright, so... As long as people don't chase us down here. So leveling system, we have accuracy, strength, stamina, and willpower. Depending on the type of weapons and character you have, you'll be focusing only on a couple of these at a time. Um, strength tends to be your important one for your sword wielders. Um, stamina and a little bit of willpower, depending on the weapon. Accuracy is basically a no-go for... If you have swords, you don't need to worry about shoot, shooting at all. Uh, we have shield bash, shield bash, the Sword of Reckoning, which is just like a drop-down attack. Um, the aura allows you to like make a... Uh, there's monsters as you're killing them in there, you'll get health for uh, attacking, which is handy. So we'll get that first off. And yeah. I think the aesthetic of this game is kind of fun. Um, it gets a little tedious. Well, it gets repetitive after a while. So this is a game that you want to sit down for, you know, half an hour, hour or something like that, play around for a bit, and then kind of go to something else. Because otherwise, it just becomes real obvious how much you're doing pretty much just this the entire time, just with different monster models. And I can't say there's a there's a huge uh, that's, that was on. Um, can't say there's a huge amount of strategy. It's usually just get up in the monster's face and fight them. If you've got guns or magic, you stand a little further back and do the same thing. Um, but, you know, it, it's a great time killer, if you will. Well, I'll admit, I don't know how well the comics are, because that's what this cool game is based off, is the Hellgate comic series, or the graphic novels. Um, 
I've just not taken the time to actually read them, though they look interesting enough. And not just based off of this. I mean, I've looked at them a little bit, but I couldn't tell you much more than what the game has to show. Eh, let me out of here. Okay. Get back here. Clear out the last monsters and head back to the station. should be everything and now we have the somewhat short walk some of these levels will get quite lengthy and we do have a personal teleporter um, kind of think of um, oh, what's the game Diablo where you have the uh, the scrolls of summoning or something like that where you can uh, take yourself back to the village that's basically what these things do um, but that's the basics of the game, really, right there. Like, some of the missions will slightly change to go grab the item, but most of the time to grab the item is on a monster. So it's a lot of attacking things. That's, uh, that's the gist. But that is kind of MMO style. So I, I thought, and I said to myself, that's cool. Uh, yes, sir. Goodbye. And we were found. And... All right. That one. I won't forget, boss. Okay. Oh, and you'll find rare items like this that you'll want to check out, which is, again, a pretty standard standard deal for these things. We could, if we wanted to, use a Wart's Peg Leg, which would have actually been a halfway decent weapon early on. It does give you armor, which is interesting, uh, much like the shield, which is unique for a sword weapon. Um, that being said, you do a lot better with your fire sword. Uh, let's see. That's a little bit better for armor. And the one thing I do really appreciate is that armor does change the look of your character slightly, depending on what you pick up. Yeah, I haven't shown that off. Um, we'll show that off real quick, because we got to go into the other access tunnel real quick. Um, so while this particular class with the, uh, the Paladin, they don't use guns, they can use these grappling hooks to bring monsters closer. Which can be helpful to thin out a herd. Um, it does mean we lose the. Uh, does mean we lose access to our shield attack, though. So there is kind of a trade-off there. Well, it's kind of cool to yank enemies in. You know, losing a power is never a good option, or n not quite as good. But that really all depends on how much you want to use shield. That was my phone making very loud buzzing noises. And also telling me I should probably get ready to wrap this up as soon as we find the capacitors. Because uh, I've been already going for a little while. My real whole goal here was just to kind of give you a basic idea of how this game starts. I'll probably play a little bit more as the invoker. And then call it a day. One more. 
Come here, you little zombies. Actually, it's really not the zombies I need. I need the, uh, the larger guys. Get over here. That's the last capacitor. Okay. And now, let's see. There you go. And we summon a recall portal. And then we'll turn our mission into I here. Love knights in general. Okay. I, love you more. I think that just might Look, do it. I even made a graph explaining mm. how. Thank you, Techsmith. Let's see here. Bye, sweet love. Um, oh yeah, I need to speak to Murmur again real quick. Seems like we need 100% more pints to pull Great this job, up. James. The door's open, and all we have to do now is make our way to Covenant Garden Station through the Covenant Garden approach. There's just That's just one infestation zone. No worries there. I, I won't be with you on this one. I have to find my own way to the station, but I'll always be near. If you ever have trouble, just use your quest log. I'm only a ring away. See you in the Covenant Garden stations, yeah? I'm counting on you. So, yeah, it's just one more run to here, and there are missions. Um, what's it do here? I won't yeah. forget, boss. I'll just pick up real quick. And I try to also make sure that there are 12 galaxies and all coming at me. Okay. So the Covenant Garden approach, we'll run through that real quick, get to the other location, and then then we'll call it a day. I forgot to change my weapon back. Oh man. Maybe it'll give me a second here. So we'll level up again real quick. And then we'll make our run through here. If we actually wanted to do the all the missions, we'd want to kill certain monsters. Probably shouldn't have accepted the mission since I'm not really going to play with this character, but... You can if you choose when going place to place to just skip past most of these guys. Um, and skip searching through things, because really it's not too far away that you have to go. Of course, everybody will pile up after a minute. Come on. Like I said, you could just run to these um, these areas. There's nothing really stopping you from that, unless there's specific missions you want to do. Um, but that is how you level up your character, and some monsters are fast enough to catch up to you. So you do have to be a little careful. And occasionally some will spawn in. Like this. Come on, you bastards. Oh, yeah. Some of those monsters in your attacks will have delayed effects like that, um, which can always be interesting. Alright. Should be almost there. There we go. Covenant Garden Stations. And to our next main hub, there's a few side missions you'll get. We'll meet Lynn real quick. Um, most of these folks up here will have side missions. There's Murmur. He somehow made it through. <laughs> ah, hero! Come we and made talk it. Of adventure. And now all that's left is deliver Sarah's message to Brandon Lamb. 
we know that the information contained within the Fox communique, uh, communique is vital. We also know that the Seraphim intended it for it to reach Rant Lamb before he fell. So let's get it done, yeah? Goodbye, my friend. Yep. So we'll run over here, meet Lan a little bit, and call it there. This is Brandon Lamb. Boy, you best not let us down. Yes, I'm Lan, and you are... James, huh? Very well, James. What would you have of me? The Seraph dead? His first slaughtered? Forgive me. This tale is... it's hard to swallow. I need a moment, please. Keep your vows. Um, anyway, we give him the message, and it leads on to a bunch of... Basically, I'm saying, get familiar with the station and stuff here. This is your midpoint to get familiar with just about everything, including the various equipment that you can modify your weapons with, your stores, you can buy special items here, the doctor that'll heal you if you need to, or if you want to return, um, this is where your teleporter will go, bring you back to. There is a fast station terminal, which we'll use, and that, I think, shall do it. Oh yeah, we have a wonder poster here for extra missions as we want them. Uh, but yeah, this is our main hub that you stick a decent amount of time in for the first part of the game. Um, but uh, I hope you enjoyed this little bit of uh, Hellgate, and we'll be back pretty shortly. And we're going to try the Evoker class next. So I uh, hope to see you there. Good night, everybody. Come and get some.